flying got more efficient with popularization of jet engines, but a beauty of a large piston aircraft engine will never be beaten. They existed in many different forms with many different numbers of cylinders, or even rotors in case of Wankel engines, but only those largest were able to climb this high onto the list. Schwetzon AH-82 The AH-82 was sourced from the 9-cylinder Schwetzon M62, which was a licensed rides engine. Technically, the AH-82 had American roots, first with carburetors, later with direct fuel injection installed. Many different versions were built, including a single-row 7-cylinder or a 4-row 28-cylinder with 82.4 liters and 4,000 horsepower. Wright R2600 Cyclone 14 Boosted by a single-stage two-speed supercharger and a Stromberg carburetor, the twin Cyclone was a very widely used power plant with more than 50,000 units produced. The design was air-cooled with dry sump and sodium-filled exhaust valves used in single up to four-engine aircraft. Daimler-Benz DB603 Following the introduction of the new DB603 engine, which was obviously meant for aircraft only, Mercedes adapted the unit for their land speed record breaker, the T80, as well the same year. The car had 3000 horsepower and should have gone up to 750 km power, but regardless, it was the largest aviation V12 during the Third Reich. Pratt and Whitney R2800 Double Wasp. As the first US 18 cylinder, it was much smaller than a French 18 cylinder, the 54.2 liter Nomerone 18L, but had significantly more power. There was also a water methanol ejection during hard acceleration to prevent detonation and was used in tens of different aircraft. Mikulin AM38 The AM38 was a further development of the AM35, designed for low-altitude ground attacks with a 10-minute war emergency power mode. This meant that the engine made more power when necessary, like overboost in cars. Besides, it was interesting that while one bank had a 190mm stroke length, the other one with articulated conrods worked with a stroke long 196.7mm.
Bristol Centaurus. Based on a mechanical structure of the 1918 Bristol Jupiter, the Centaurus was made as a twin 9-cylinder instead of the 7-cylinder layout as its smaller brother, the Hercules. Its stroke was also increased and a 2-speed supercharger sent air via sleeve valves with 4 ports per sleeve. It was one of the most powerful World War II aircraft units. <laughs> Right R3350 Duplex Cyclone. Power wise, the Duplex Cyclone was rated between 2200 to 4700 horsepower for production applications, which made it the most powerful American aircraft engine of its time. There was a Chandler Evans downdraft carburetor, and interestingly, they sourced an experimental twin row 67 liter 22 cylinder version of it, the R4090 Cyclone 22. Schwetzan AH-73. Another Soviet Union with Wright's base is the AH-73. Unlike the AH-82, there was a two-stage supercharging system, first with a pair of parallel turbos, and then a second stage in form of a single-speed supercharger with a maximum boost of 1.5 bar. More than 14,000 of them were built, powering a variety of aircrafts, including a number of Tupolevs. Pratt and Whitney R4360 Wasp Major. The Wasp Major is the largest thing of the Wasp series and was also very different than anything before as it had four rows of cylinders. It was really huge with up to 56 spark plugs and a twin turbo in the top spec. The layout was semi-helical for a more effective cooling, but it came too late to be applied into war machines. It powered civil planes like the Saab 90 Scandia, for instance. <laughs> To end this list, the Lycoming XR7755 is really worth to note as it was a 127 litre large with 36 cylinders in 4 rows. Initial testing found 5000 horsepower, but Air Force soon lost interest and the project was shut down. I believe you liked the video since you got as far as its very end and I wish you a great day. Ciao.